to Adventuring with Amanda. We're in my rooftop box. In this video, I'm going to show you what's in it. We're going to clean it out and organize. Let's get started. All right, my friends. How'd you like that intro? Pretty funny, huh? Just trying to be different. <laughs> No, but for real, I have talked about my rooftop box before um, on some different videos. I have a sport rack rooftop box on the top of my minivan camper. I bought it from OfferUp $80 back in 2021. And um, it's 18 cubic feet. It's absolutely huge. And the reason I got it for $80 is because it was used once and the lady ran into her garage and uh, made a hole in the top. But literally like a year and a half ago, we fixed it with flex tape and I've never had any problems with it. Rainstorms, snowstorms, my tape is still on there and this sport rack is amazing. So I'm gonna show you what's in it and organize it and yeah, let's get going. Of course, before I clean out my rooftop box, I gotta show you what it looks like inside right now. I did bring my tail veil on this trip um, and then I just have stuff really thrown in here. Uh, my grandma even loaded some stuff <laughs> off on me. So um, I have some things to go through. And uh, I will show you in the roof space. You can kind of see how high it is up there. That's why I can fit an entire five gallon bucket in here. Literally on top of everything else. So I'm going to take everything out. Lay it out on the driveway. And then we'll go through it. Ta-da! We got stuff. Kind of looks like my free pile at Schoolie Palooza. <laughs> um, Winston is going to help us go through all the stuff in the rooftop box. This is it. Um, it's quite a bit of stuff. My big stuff, as you can see, it's a lot of really uh, utility items. But we'll go. We'll go through stuff. So um, I actually have everything laying on my waterproof blanket that goes in that Brontide um, thing right there. I didn't fold up. The blanket properly when I left Iowa so I need to do that so all right just kind of talk about everything quickly here so I have my um, toilet lid that I use if I have like a guest that I'm camping with or something or I know I'm going to be camping with other people who aren't van lifers I keep that and then I carry my five gallon bucket so um, guests have a way of using the restroom I have my cones that I haven't used yet just got a new twin sweatshirt, Minnesota Twins. <laughs> um, a purse that I generally keep at the house, but I've been using it for traveling, so um, to keep stuff in. Of course, my 25 cent, my 25 cent, my 25 foot extension cord. I have my Jackery solar panel over there, 60 watt, but it's broken. It's, it's damaged. That's I ended up getting a new one from the warranty. So I don't even know why it's in my rooftop box and I need to get rid of it. My shower. A Goodwill bag of items my grandma pawned off on me. <laughs> um, my collapsible stool as well as my sand mats. I have an extra camping chair here and my little stool. Collapsible water bags. And uh, Winston doesn't go in my rooftop box, but he is showing us how nice the our foldable rug is. I have a level right there. I have more in my van. I just keep that one in the top. Of course, my tail veil. My wolf fly shower tent and my propane stove so as you can see my big stuff my big bulky items that I don't necessarily want in the van go in my rooftop box I also typically put towels my red camping chair and Winston's outdoor bed and collapsible playpen but that stuff just completely folds flat um, and I have it set up so I just didn't really want to collapse it for this video but um, this is it, and now I will show you what my rooftop box looks like empty. Here's the inside of my rooftop box. Um, it had some rocks and stuff in it. I just kind of cleaned it out. There's no point in keeping it clean. That would just be silly. But um, yeah, this is it. I do recommend if you have a rooftop box, tightening uh, those bolts that you see. I just went to tighten them, and I, I tighten them about once a month. I just tried to and they're super tight already so but yeah it's nice and easy to access um, what I love about this rooftop box obviously is that you can access it um, from all three major sides of your van um, or vehicle and then I do recommend putting I am 5'8 so it's pretty easy for me to get into my rooftop box but the lanyard helps when I go to close it because I'll just step on my trunk 
and yank down the lanyard, close it and lock it. Easy peasy. Also, I carry this little shovel that I got for $5 at Harbor Freight. I've used it to shovel cow poop out of my campsite. <laughs> and on this trip, I've used it to shovel goose poop. So that's a necessity. What I'm going to do now is kind of consolidate um, like the stuff that my grandma gave me, I'm gonna put in my purse cause that stuff I'm taking back to Arizona. I'm gonna wipe some things off as well. It still has quartzite dust on it, you know, from six months ago. Um, so, and then, yeah, and then put it all back in nice and organized like. And here we are, an organized rooftop box. I put things that I use most frequently that are flat right in the middle, as you can see. And then toward the back, I have things I don't use as frequently. My cones, um, the toilet lid, shower, propane stove, and then I have like round things over there. My beach mats, chair, shovel, stool, and then I will put Winston's playpen right in the middle because that folds down flat, and my camping chair right here on the side. I have my extension cord under my tail veil right in the front, and that is it. I am so happy I went through my rooftop box. <laughs> it feels so organized now, so yay, happy with it. But um, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you found this video to be helpful, you know, drop me a comment. If you have any questions about my rooftop box and how it's been for me, um, let me know. I do highly recommend it. Uh, I, yeah, the rooftop box is a must have for me for minivan camping. So thank you again, and Winston and I will see you next time.